Um, but I'm going to show you a couple of steps that you can use when you're exploiting uh, SMB. So if we look at my, my notes here, uh, an initial scan came back with uh, these ports as open. So right away I know that we've got FTP, SSH, but I know that we have a file sharing that's happening on the target. So uh, the, one of the first things that you're going to do when you encounter this kind of scenario is that you're going to attempt to map any available shares. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Using the SMB map tool, we're going to do host. And there we go, We've, we're shown what, what is available. So right away, the only one that is available is our read our read write on the temp folder. So we're not actually gonna even try to get into these at this point because we need more privileges to get that. So what we can do is get in here. So let's go ahead and try that. We are going to use the SMB client tool to access the temp here. Here we are connecting to this this uh, share here, and we have gained access. We are now actually connected to this machine. And if we look in here, we can see um, there is some stuff that in here that we could go ahead and, and look at. If I wanted to grab anything, I could do I could use the get command. But I don't want to. I, I did do a little looking and there was nothing really in there was that revealed anything. But it is a good idea to actually grab stuff because there might be valuable information in there. So what we do need to do is what I'm gonna do is <laughs> is uh, uh, set up a, a reverse shell on this machine. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So first things first, I want to, I want to from the, this uh, target machine connect back to my machine. So I'm going to set up a listener. And I'm going to set it on port 4444. Now while connected in here, I am going to run a command that's available within Samba, and it's the logon command. Backtick. Input the attacker's IP address, so that would be your attacking machine, not the target machine. Back tick, hit enter, and go on over to our listening, and we have been we are connected. So our attacking machine is now connected to our target machine. Let's go ahead and do a present working directory. Shows that we're in temp. Do an ID, and now we can see that we are our root on this machine. Let's look at what's inside this temp file. Over here. And from here, we're gonna nav we would navigate around to find the flag, um, plant a further file. But at this point, we do have root, and so we, we fully are able to navigate and manipulate this machine. All right. Uh, Awesome lessons from this first machine. Uh, another another thing that I, I learned was that if you're getting an error message, 
Uh, for example, one that looks like this. You're trying to connect. What you're what that means when you get this error message here is that you are t attempting to connect to a a Samba server that is an older version than what your client has. So you have to go into your smb.conf and manipulate a couple features. So I'll go ahead and show you that. So here's our configuration file. Uh, go inside here and add this line right here. It is client min protocol equals nt1. Save that. And you shouldn't have any problems connecting to your machine. Alright. On to the next machine.